Hi, how are you? So in this video, I'm going to do another episode of my classic record shops series. Uh, a little while ago, I did my first classic record shop video and I discussed Sam the Record Man, the old Sam the Record Man shop that used to be on Young Street in downtown Toronto. And uh, I had many wonderful memories of going to that shop. Uh, and in this episode, I'm going to be doing another record shop from Toronto. Now, I don't want you to think that every single episode I do of this series is going to be about a record shop that was in Toronto. No, that's not my intention. Uh, it's simply because I have visited many awesome record shops in Toronto. Toronto was really the first major city that I lived in. As I mentioned before, I came from a small town on the east coast of Canada. And uh, I lived in Toronto twice in my 20s. So it was really my first time being exposed to a major metropolitan city. And many of the awesome record shops that I visited when I was younger just happened to be in Toronto. But never fear, there are many, many other shops that I have visited in other cities and in other countries. And I will be focusing on those as well in this series. But in this episode, I'm going to be talking about another classic shop that I visited in Toronto. Now, quite honestly, I only went to this shop once. I only visited it one time, but that one visit left such a huge impression on me. I'm talking about Peter Dunn's Vinyl Museum. And of course, many of you, especially if you're from the Toronto area or if you visited Toronto in the past, I'm sure you remember Peter Dunn's Vinyl Museum. For the longest time, they were located on Young Street, right next door to Sam the Record Man. But uh, later on, they moved to Bloor Street West, which is also in downtown Toronto, but a, bit, a little bit further north. And I went to this location on Bloor Street West just once. But it was such a, a great experience. I went there one evening it was a very dark rainy evening i went there by myself and i recall i found a coupon in the local newspaper and this coupon entitled you to 50 percent off your entire purchase so i thought wow okay this is an awesome coupon i could really score with this so i went to peter dunn's vinyl museum and right away as soon as i walked in i was so impressed by uh, the sheer selection, it was incredible. So many records and cassettes and CDs. And it just had that really classy, classic vibe of a good record shop. Um, it just had a lot of character. Um, and, and I just immediately fell in love with it. Now, what was really cool was towards the back of the shop, they had this enormous section of records that were all $1 each. And it was huge. And I remember looking through all the records and I remember, I think I picked out at least, I don't know, it was something like 16 to 20 records. And again, these were all from the $1 section. And again, I can't remember exactly, it was somewhere around 16 to 20 records. Let's say it was 16. So 16 records at $1 each, that would be $16. But with the coupon, I managed to buy them for $8. It was a complete and total amazing score. And I remember walking out of there feeling so happy with my latest treasures. But yeah, Peter Dunn's Vinyl Museum, it was a very interesting place. Um, the owner of the shop had a habit of sticking little uh, Bible qu quotes in the record sleeves. so. <laughs> If many of you uh, ever shopped there, I'm sure you remember uh, taking your record out of the sleeve and, and somewhere inside would be like a, a biblical quote. Uh, I guess the, the owner of the shop was rather Christian and uh, wanted to share his uh, Christian faith. So, yeah, it was a, in that sense, it was kind of a quirky shop. Um, and and I, from what I've read... Uh, there were a few different locations of Peter Dunn's Vinyl Museum. Uh, I think there was one kind of outside of the downtown area. If you're from Toronto, please leave a comment and please clarify this for me. Uh, again, I didn't live in Toronto for very long. 
Um, I was there long enough to really fall in love with the city, but uh, there's a lot of things about Toronto's history that I'm still not totally clear on. So if you're from that area and you're very familiar with Peter Dunn's Vinyl Museum, uh, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what were all the different locations. I, I know there were at least three different locations of the record store. So yeah, I have very fond memories of that one special night that I managed to uh, visit the Vinyl Museum. And I remember being really, really heartbroken. Uh, I visited Toronto in 1999 or 2000, somewhere around there. And I remember going to Bloor West and I went to the spot where the Vinyl Museum was located and it was closed. It was all boarded up. And I was so heartbroken because I was so looking forward to visiting the record store again and buying a bunch more $1 records. But I found the spot where it was located and it was all boarded up and I could really feel my heart breaking in that moment. So that's my look at another classic record shop. Thank you for watching. Hope you can join us again next time. Feel free to leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and as always, please subscribe to the channel. I post new reviews every week, and I would love to have you join our family. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.